back to my channel. So today is going to be a super fun haul. I got some goodies from the VIB Sephora sale. And um, I didn't know what was going on until everyone and their mom started posting all these videos about this wonderful haul that they did at Sephora. And I'm like, what the hell? I didn't get an email. And I found out that I'm not really VIB anymore, that I had to spend a certain amount to get my VIB access, blah, 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 to get the 15% off. So uh, that was easy though, I only had to spend like, I don't remember exactly how much I had to spend, but I got a bunch of new goodies to try and I love this time of year because it's new makeup and I can do a bunch of videos on them and you guys can tell me what video you want to see and yada yada yada. So let's just jump right into the video and see what I bought from Sephora. Uh, first thing is, oh. I didn't even know that this came out. I saw blog posts about it and I was super excited about it because I love the Kat Von D shade light palette for like contouring and warming the face and stuff. And she came out with a shade light eye. And all of the shadows in here are matte. This thing is wonderful. I have it on my eyeballs right now. I absolutely love matte colors. So if you are a matte shadow fan, then you need this. The colors in here are so fabulous. I'll have zoom up shots of it up there. But the pigmentation was really nice and you just have to be careful and work slowly on your eye because I kid you not, the pigmentation is so intense and just awesome that yes, it'll impress you. And I just love all all of the shades that are in this, even the two light shades, they're so intense. I use them on my brow bone today. I use these two on my brow bone, this one in my crease, these two for blending out the crease, and yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing an eye look on this tomorrow. I'm going to put it up right away because I haven't seen very many videos on this yet and I'm excited and pumped to show you guys it in action. So yeah, I love that. So excited. And I was so freaking like shocked that there was as many as there were where I'm from. And yeah, there was like five or six of them. I'm like, what? How? Because I'm sure it's sold out wherever you are. Uh, next thing I got is this Naked Skin uh, Ultra Definition Powder Foundation. It looks like this. And have you ever played with this in Sephora? It just feels so velvety and smooth. Oh wow, it comes packaged like that. Um, I haven't used this yet. This I got medium neutral, but I'll just show you what it looks like just in case you've never seen it. But just play with it the next time you're in Sephora. It feels wonderful. The packaging is really nice and high end feeling. And yes, that is the powder and it looks fabulous. I hate using new stuff. I hate like using it. Not I hate, I don't want to say I hate using, but you know what I'm saying. First application is like, ah. But yeah, I'm excited to use this. Yay! I think I really wanted a powder foundation for the no makeup makeup days and I'm going to film a new one and I'm going to use this one. So hopefully all goes well with that. So again, medium neutral. And I also, from the Naked Skin line, I picked up the uh, concealer, which I have underneath my eyes today. Holy cow! First impression. I love this product. I think you should totally try it. It's, um, what it says, it's that it's a liquid concealer like no other, cover imperfections without looking covered up, weightless. I love the way that it feels whenever you put it on your face. It just feels so, um, creamy and lightweight and it blends like a dream and it says it doesn't settle into fine lines and what I do, because I feel like every concealer always settles in my fine lines, I set it right away. As soon as I put it on there and blend it out, I set it right away and I don't have that problem and I haven't had that problem. It's not settling right now. And I, of course, I got mine in light neutral. There were uh, a little bit darker ones, but for whatever reason, like the light medium was ashy looking and I just felt like underneath my eyes it would look horrible so I ended up just getting light neutral because I know what you're thinking like Melissa you are not light you don't need to be going that light but you guys know I love that highlighted look and that's what it did and I just absolutely love this so far I hope it I still love it I'll keep you updated on it but first impression it's so bombsy I'm so happy that I got it Next thing that I also have on my face, which is instant love, I loved it whenever I put it on my face, is the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. I have heard so many magical things about this product and I have no idea why it's taken me so long to buy it, but I finally did and I love it. It makes my skin look flawless and I kid you not, I don't look cakey. I mean, obviously you can tell that I'm wearing makeup, but my skin does not feel or look, or it could no, it doesn't look cakey to me. It just looks like I'm wearing makeup. And I love the way it set my face. 
It's translucent, so there's no color to it, and it's just lightweight and just, oh. It's awesome. I'm hoping that my opinion stays the same on this as well. And I just, I like it so much. And this thing is gonna last me forever. It's huge. It comes with so much product. Look at that. It says there is one ounce of product. Sweetness. I love it so far. This haul is just making me happy. <laughs> the next product, which I have to return and get a freaking new shade. I am so behind on this product, but this is the Dior Air Flash Spray Foundation. I have been dying to try this foundation for months and months and months. I would say years. I've seen this foundation forever ago, and I don't know. I just haven't bought it. But um, the color that I picked up was 302 Beige Rose, which is totally not my color, and I meant to pick up 400 Sand, and that color looks like it's gonna be perfect for me, so I just need to exchange that. But would you guys like to see a video on this? I know there's a million and one videos out there of this, but I feel like um, I tried to YouTube girls in my shade who use this, and there wasn't but like maybe two. So I'm like, I have to film one, so I'm excited to do that. Just let me know if you're interested in that or not. Uh, I d I'll definitely film it for you, but I cannot wait to try this foundation. I just got to exchange it for the right freaking color. This was in the wrong spot, and I didn't check. I should have checked. <laughs> and last two products is uh, this NARS blush in, what color are you? What color are you? Torrid, and the color is just like this peachy color, and it for my skin tone, I just felt like it was beautiful. It's like a peachy color here. What am I doing? Let me show you. It looks like this. Oh, it's just a beautiful peach color. I freaking just love this blush. It's so pretty. I have it on my cheeks right now. I think it's the perfect summer color. And yes, I like it. There's a little, little sparkle in it. And you will definitely see this in action on my channel in some future makeup uh, tutorials. <laughs> I feel super like, da -da -da, like I'm really chatty right now. Uh, and the last thing is another product that I've been dying to try and it's a Kat Von D tattoo liner in Trooper. Holy cow, I love this liner. It's so easy to perfect a wing liner. I use this in my Smashbox gel liner and oh my goodness, the duo is fabulous. You can create a wing so easy. The tip of this is amazing. I'll show you a close up of it. And yes, I have, I know I'm gonna love this. Freaking, I just put it on my eye and yeah. Oh, and I swatched it on my hand whenever I was in store and it lasted on my hand forever. The only thing that I will say that, I, that I'm really not that a fan of with this is it's a satin finish, so it's kind of shiny. I wish it would be matte, but I guarantee you she's gonna come out with the matte one, watch. But anyways, that pretty much completes this video. I hope it wasn't too long. I tried to go it through it or tried to go through it quickly. If any of these products you want to see a video on, a video on, please let me know. I love doing product reviews for you. They're so fun for me. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Love you.